Hello, people of Earth and elsewhere. Welcome back to another Top 10 Stands list on the channel where the content is spam and I am Crackers. Now, due to the fact that continuing to make lists like this will likely become repetitive, I have decided to make two more videos and then just put the subject of Top 10 Stands to rest. The first of my last two videos being this one. Now, the usual rules apply to this list. The stands must come from the main series of the anime and the manga, meaning nothing from the light novels, spin-offs, video games, etc. That being said, get ready for Spam Cracker's ultimate list of the top 10 stands of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure I personally would never want to have. And the list is in no particular order, just the order of how they appear in the main series. Starting with Stardust Crusaders. It actually took me a little while to think if there was some stand in here that I would hate having and would get rid of if I did have it, and then I found one. Number one, Anubis. It's a sword. Now, that sounds similar to how I describe the things on my lamest stands list, but trust me, I think Anubis is cool enough in its own way. It's a smart sword, and being the user of the stand just means that you happen to be the one holding on to it at the time. The user is being used, as it were. Anubis possesses the person holding it, and makes them wield the sword, very skillfully at that, but this is my list, and quite frankly, I would rather be in some form of control of myself when I'm holding a sword. Me holding a sword is a bad idea in general, but I'm sure other people who like the concept of holding a sword and looking cool and being able to effectively wield that is enough to uh, convince somebody to pick up this killing machine. Yeah, what does it mean to have free will, anyway? And the one honorable mention from Stardust Crusaders is the Empress. Uh, I can't think of any way I'd use an animated tumor. It's pretty gross and useless once you think about it. But, you know, I guess you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Part 4, where we have a few more entries. Number 2, Boy to Man. Now my real question is, can I play Rock, Paper, Scissors without using it? Probably. But I'm genuinely curious about that point. Uh, there's no real reason to want the powers that come with Boy to Man. Stealing energies and stand powers from other people is fun in theory, and in line with a lot of fan-made stands I've seen, actually. But not mine. I just want to play Rock, Paper, Scissors the normal way. Thank you very much. Plus, I mean, who wants a stand that's activated by playing Rock, Paper, Scissors? I mean, maybe because it's so simple, I don't know. Number three, Superfly. Again. Being the user of this stand is essentially just being a victim, trapped in a telephone tower. Sounds like fun. I wonder how many people could actually make a living out of it, like Toyohiro Kan- Kanedaichi. Hmm. Well, certainly not me. Camping out in the bottom of the telephone tower. Maybe getting family visits. Do I get free Wi-Fi? Anywho, yeah, definitely this kind of stand is not for me, and probably not for anybody, really. Number four. Cheap trick. Hashtag lamest stands. Its whole goal is to kill you, and then just annoy the living Helsing out of you until that happens. Don't show your back to anyone. Life is chaotic enough as it is. No need to have this clingy murder monkey making it worse. It is a plague, a curse, literal magic had to be used to get rid of it in the series. No one wants this stand. No one. I am not exempt from that list. On to part five. Oh boy, part five stands. Here we go, my absolute favorite. Number five, Babyface. I honestly don't think any sane person wants a stand that functions like this. I don't care about the potential to create a perfect homunculus that could combat my enemies. The whole process process of creating whatever it is this stand makes and how it goes about doing that is just plain creepy. You literally have to creep on people in order to use this stand. It's so bad, touchy, and just you. Nope, cannot do this. It's gonna be fun when this part gets animated, which may be sooner than we thought. Actually, it might actually be happening, so yeah, it is sooner than we thought. Number six, Notorious B.I.G. Hey, look! I died. And the consequences suck for the fastest nearby object. Knowing me, I might just actually have this stand, and I just don't know about it because it requires me to die and the nearest moving object has to suffer the consequences of the speeding blob monster that results from it. How do you discover you have a stand like this anyway? 
Ugh, keep it far away from me, please. Hmm. Number seven. Guys probably saw this one coming. Rolling Stone. Do I have to explain this again? Hello, this is my pet rock. If he follows you home, you die. I can't stop him. I have no control over my pet death omen rock. The only reason you want to stand like this is because all the other good ones were taken and you didn't want babyface or cheap trick, seriously. At least it doesn't kill you, right? <sighs> On to part six. We got a couple more over here for you. Number eight, Highway to Hell. I die, you die, we all die, it sucks. Remember what I said about Rolling Stone literally just a few seconds ago? Well, I'd rather have the walking rock of death than another stand that involves self-harm to activate it. A stand like this is bad for all involved, physically and psychologically and probably emotionally. It's disturbing on any number of levels. And again, I can't say anyone would want this stand, and to end up with a power like this, you'd have to... Oh dear. Number nine, Jailhouse Lock. Don't give me the power to manipulate memories. Somehow I'll manage to use it on myself on accident. Spam crackers, I don't think you can use stands on accidents. Uh, no, I will somehow manage to screw it up. In addition, I don't think I have the evil bones to use this kind of stand on somebody else. Nope, cannot do. This power and its particular function in series just rubs me all the wrong ways. On to part seven. Just kidding. There aren't any stands in Steel Ball Run I think I'd hate to have more than Rolling Stone. Sugar Mountain Spring is an honorable mention, though. The circumstances surrounding that would... Definitely suck. Ah, part eight. The final stand that I would hate to have as of February 10th, 2018. Number 10, Blue Hawaii. So basically what it does is it's a long-range stand that gives you a zombie slave. And it's not even a good zombie slave. Based off of what we saw in the manga, it's just messy. I can't think of what you could tell Blue Hawaii to do that wouldn't just make a mess, and the way it transfers from host to host is bothersome and just makes an even bigger mess. Granted, the user in series isn't the kind of guy who has to worry about collateral damage. Nonetheless, from what I saw of him using it, it was only a once in a blue moon kind of thing. Or should I say blue lagoon? Eh, jokes nobody's gonna get. Plus, I am not a fan of zombies in general. Uh, this is just, uh... It's just strange, and it makes me generally uncomfortable. I mean, good on Araki for keeping the series interesting, but no, I would not want Blue Hawaii. And there you have it. As of now, Spam Cracker's top 10 stands that she would not want to have ever. So what do you guys say? What are the stands from JoJo that you think it would be the worst to have and why? Whether or not you agree with my choices, you should have an idea of what you think would suck too. So... Don't forget to comment down below. Who knows, maybe I missed one, or maybe I should have replaced something on this list with the Empress. Thanks for watching to the end, anyone who has, and I hope you're looking forward to the final entry in my stands lists, where I talk about the 10 stands from the series that I would want the most. To make sure that you get notified about that, you can always subscribe to me and ring that little bell, because that's a thing, and uh, stick around for future anime, spam, and JoJo videos. Comment videos and drawings you think that I should do in the future, and like the video if you thought it was any good. Though that's all for now, people of Earth and Elsewhere, I thank you again for watching this video all the way through to the end, and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!